Ryan was behind the defender there, Matthew. Matthew takes it for Ryan Elias, who sends it out of bounds. Good idea, but not enough accuracy on that pass. Matthew is the goalie for the Buffaloes. So when you hear me say Matthew, there's two Matthews here today. Matthew's number one for the Buffaloes and 18 Matthew for the Leopards. There's a substitution. Leopards were good at strategically substituting their players in the first round. We're playing at altitude here in Addis, so it's easy to get winded and dehydrated. Hoping all players keep that in mind and coaches too, subbing players in and out and drinking lots of water today. Oh wow, forced out there by Alvino. Kind of a tough push there, but the, uh, the referees say play on. Be a physical game, see if the referees let them play or whether they just missed that one. Number 20 there is Elias. He also had a strong game for the first round for the Leopards. Leopards are a little tentative, haven't really sent anything interesting forward. They're sizing up the Buffalo's backfield. But now they send one in for a ride. Alvino misses that. And looks like a goal kick for Matthew for the Buffaloes. I'm joined today by our cameraman, Sintayu, who's doing an amazing job wearing the sun protection, that cool orange sunshade hat. Looking good up there, my friend. And my buddy Tillahoon representing the Eagles loud and proud with his red cap. I'm a little bit hard to miss here undercover in my red ninja outfit for the eagles let's go guys let's have a good round Sintayu, let's do this and in the background we have our comms director our capitan keeping us in check here making sure that we're a family friendly show hey we can walk and chew gum here at ics we can run point on medics medics Run point on comms and run point on play by play. All right, the Leopards are now finally starting to spread their claws. They're flexing here. Looks like a corner here for the Leopards. Ermias, the striker, and Elias. They are on the prowl around the goal, waiting for a corner cross. Let's see what the Leopards can do with it. Sneaks one in on the ground. Nobody's fooled from the Buffaloes, and Alvino will surely send it toward Leopards Lane. Misha tries to get control of it, but Matthew makes up a lot of ground and says, not my Lair, the goalie Matthew for the Buffalo sends a nice high far and wide. Nothing to see there. And Kosi will be happy to get a kick. And Kosi, again with a strong match in the first round against ICS, faced a lot of Eagle strikes, but defended them for that 1 0 victory against the home team. ICS Eagles Ambassadors, ICS Eagles Ambassadors, just the front of the team. Nkosi kicks it out to Matthew. Matthew, ready. Leopards are maybe feeling some fatigue from the first round. Callum sends it over to Vilmar. Vilmar was the player of the match in the first round, sends it forward to number 10, Peter. Peter tracks it down just before it goes out of bounds. Able to save it, keep it, keep it in Buffalo's territory. But no, Misha now with the possibility to strike back. Misha, but Vilmer showing 
showing his spots there. Sends it out off of Misha. Sends it off of Misha there for the free kick for the Leopards. Wow, that was a nice exchange. After kind of a sleepy game, both the Leopards and the Buffaloes looked like they were a bit sleeping in the hot sun here in Addis, but now they're waking up. Number 13 is Callum on the right side there, sending it up to Matthew. And now Matthew looking for a kick, but a miscommunication there sends it off out of bounds. A throw in for the Buffaloes. Buffaloes are looking a bit sluggish now. We're over 10 minutes into the first half. And you can see the Leopards maybe were taking it easy there in the first 10 minutes, but they have awakened and they're ready to strike. They are certainly on the prowl now, seeing if they can catch the Buffaloes out of sync, Matthew. But can't get a good pass over to his colleague. And Misha sends it over. Is it too far? He can't get there in time. That's out of bounds. Goalie kick. Great idea. Just too much velocity on that pass for his fellow striker to catch up to. And Kosi with the goal kick. Not sure. We got some subs coming in now. Buffalo relief. Johannes in for the Buffaloes. And we're leaving. Is that Melvin coming off? Melvin, great job. Some really exciting play. Get your strength back. We want to see some more strikes in the second half from you. All right. Is that Callum? Sending it forward to number seven, Diego. I haven't seen Diego much out here. See what he can do. There's Vilmar. Vilmar has had some nice sneaky passes into the into the box. This time gets sent out. Buffalo say no. Throw in for the Leopards. Vilmer with the throw in. Throws it to mid, midway into the box. And Matthew, the goalie for the Buffaloes, handles it nicely. Got the heart rate up just a fraction there, but really nothing to see there in the end. Matthew sends it over to Alvino, who mishandles it. So we will keep it down here in Buffalo's territory. The Leopards are enjoying playing where the Buffalo roam. Keeping it in, number seven again, Diego. Proudly strutting his stuff out there with some nice passing. And now Vilmer will send it back in to Matthew. Let's see, Matthew handles it to number 10, Peter. Peter sends it in, but too much, too high. Elias had no chance there. Matthew, the goalie, with a goal kick. Ready to take a deep breath. Sending it over to his fellow defender. Nice pass, gets it through some, some leopards, over. Oh, Buffaloes wanted to do something special there, but couldn't connect on those passes. And now Elias, or is it a Buffaloes throw in? A little disarray, some confusion here. Buffaloes definitely showing a bit of wear and tear, a bit tired, but Will they sneak up Johannes, our freshman off the bench, trying to come in and wreak some havoc? Trying to go on a stampede here, the Buffaloes. Alvino with a nice stop there. Needs to recover and help his fellow defenders out. Able to do so. Wow, lots of great footwork from Elias, but to no avail. Misha, good idea, but a little behind the center fielder there. Alvino needs to keep it going forward into the into the front end and unfortunately no one down there from the buffaloes to collect that johannes 
Trying to be pesky down there. Threatening Cozy a little bit with some pressure, but nothing in Cozy can't handle. And Vilmer will now collect it and get the Leopards. Take charge. And number 20. That's Elias. Trying to send it into the front court there, but really nobody there from the Leopards to take advantage. And now Buffaloes are trying to send it in. Great idea. Johannes wasn't quite there on the center side, and Ngozi sweeps it in there into his Leopards lair. No chance for a goal there. Sneaky goal from the Buffaloes. We're coming into the last three minutes of the first half here. Spirited match, 0-0. Couple bursts of excitement, but so far, no, no great chances for either side. Diego sending it forward. And Matthew off the post. That was the first leopard strike, really, of the first half. And just unlucky couple centimeters to the left and that would have been a leopard's leap of celebration. Okay, Bisha keeps it in, keeps it in play to Johannes. Johannes takes it into the center court, still has it. Misha sends it over, but no one's there. Where are the Buffaloes? Where do the Buffaloes roam? Unfortunately, they stayed behind to defend their territory. Number 11, Allen, set to come in. Give somebody on the Buffalo side a breather for substitution in a while. Number eight, George, for the Leopards coming in. We'll see. Callum takes it forward, but Misha. Misha needs to take the offensive here. Needs some good passing. Alvino gets forced off the ball, but says, no way, not in my house. And Peter, Peter's fended off well from Alvino. Alvino takes some celebrations from his side there for standing his ground. Buffaloes don't get swayed that easily, but nice uh, competitive work there from Peter trying to muscle him out of the way. But, that leopard is no match for that buffalo. Alvino sends it forward to Allen. Allen with some nice footwork there. And we've got another player fresh off the bench. There's Arvid. He wants to make his mark on this ICA tournament. Wants everyone to know his name is Arvid, loud and proud. Let me know I wasn't saying it right. Good on him. Needs to collect himself to have a last one minute here. Matthew needs a strong goal kick here to set the Buffaloes up for a light, a late strike, a late stampede, as it were, here on upper field at ICS Addis. And Matthew, nice, good idea to Johannes in the middle. Nice, controls it with the chest, but Callum backs him away. And out of bounds on those Buffaloes. Got some loud Eagles cheering on the lower field. Good to hear the home support. And Nkosi sends it to the middle to Matthew. Matthew gets it over to number 10, Peter. Peter tries to send it over to the side. Good job. To number 14, Cameron handles it, but that Buffalo's defense, they crowd around. No chance for the Leopards for a late lightning strike. And that's it. That's the whistle it sounds like for the first half. At halftime, AIS Mozambique, the Water Buffaloes with zero. AIS Lusaka Leopards also with zero. Great job. Oh, there's still a little time to play. I misheard that whistle. 
Matthew collecting it, trying to send it over to Elias. No luck. Callum controls it. Want to be aggressive, George, but also no fatal errors for the first half. Elias deep in Buffalo territory, but three to one. Three Buffaloes to one Leopard is no match. No chance. And Misha sends it forward to number 11, Allen. And that is the whistle. Unfortunately, the Buffaloes were getting ready to stampede, but the ref had to call halftime. And now it's officially halftime. AIS Mozambique, the Water Buffalo, zero. AIS Lusaka Leopards, also zero. Looking a bit dejected after a, after a ricochet off the post. That was a beautiful shot. I believe that was Matthew, but luck was not on the leopard side. Zero, zero. Half time, take a break. See you in 10 minutes. Keep it up with the animal puns. Yeah, yeah. I, I got to get some better ones, but you know. This is the hold on.
beautiful day in ICS Addis. Just a few clouds in the sky after a bit of a mini rainy season. We're happy to have a beautiful first round day here for our first day of competition on the upper field. Just started play with our AIS Lusaka Leopards with the ball now. Vilmer sending it up with the Buffaloes coming out with some tenacity. And a great forward pass there for Arvid. Tried to handle it, but had to send it out of bounds. Vilmer with a throw in coming up. Taking some time. Sending it forward for Ilias. Ilias getting deep into Buffalo territory, but surrounded and no chance. And the Buffalo send it away into the Leopards' lair. Johannes up there trying to sneak one in against Nkosi. Wow, with a dangerous pass. And there's Matthew controlling the ball in midfield. Sends it back to Vilmer. A little second half start off nerves for the Leopards after a very composed first round, a very defensive first round. Now they're getting their stride. Some nice passing, very smooth. And a miss, oh my goodness, two misses. And that's a third miss for poor Cameron. Oh, he'll want those back. Tough, but he had the right idea. Just couldn't connect, couldn't connect. Matthew, the goalie from the Buffaloes with a goal kick. And he'll send it over to his defender. I believe that's number four, Sydney. Sends it back to Matthew. Tries to control it up at the front. Looks like Misha there. Great ball handler there, Misha. And some nice, and Arvid coming up. Johannes trying to sneak away with it. They have two sneaky strikers, the Buffaloes do. Melvin and Johannes. Teams better beware. Those guys can sneak in for a quick strike at any time. Matthew for the Leopards with the ball. Dribbles it over to the right, trying to connect. Neil takes over. Good to see Neil get some playing time here today. And Cameron looks like he will take the free kick. Looking for a little bit of a redemption here after having three really great opportunities there a moment ago. Let's see what he can send in here for Matthew or Neil or Elias, these really big strikers. Wow, what a kick. A lot of velocity behind that one. Glad no one took one in the throat there. That seemed to be a problem in our previous game on the upper field. Wishing recovery to any of those injured students. We've got our chief medical officer here, Krista. And one of our great nurses, Taffy, on the sidelines here, keeping all of our players safe at a moment's notice. Matthew, goalie from the Buffaloes with the goalie kick. Sends it over to Misha. Misha with some nice ball handling there. Sends it back to Matthew. Back to Misha. Trying to size it up here. See if they can find. Ooh, Melvin's back in the game. Always, always a threat, Melvin, wherever he is. Gets in front, can't get a foot on it. Can't get a hoof on it and lets it through the end line there for Ngozi for another goal kick. Ngozi brings it in. Ngozi sends it over to the right-hand side of his defense. We have a sub coming in here. A little windy here, blowing my notes. Alvino is coming back in. Alvino, definitely a strong Buffaloes defender, living up to the name there. Definitely setting the tone for that Buffalo's defensive side. 
And they're happy to have him back there with those strong, big, tall strikers from the Leopards. Vilmer coming in, sneaking in, in the midfield here, taking it to, and wow, what a sneaky strike there from Vilmer. Almost catching Matthew, the goalie from the Buffaloes off guard, but at the last moment, he was able to hoof it away. Second one in a row, nice diving save again from Matthew. And sending it up to Melvin, who has a little bit of daylight there for a Buffalo strike, but way off target, sadly. Unfortunately, he sends it off left. Buffalo's tried to turn that that Leopard's offensive, getting them on the back paw. And couldn't take advantage. Now it's out of bounds and a throw in for the Leopards. Deep into Buffalo's territory. The Buffalo's. Getting set up now. Vilmer comes up, giving them a breather, chance to reset, weren't able to take the advantage. And now we have a sub. Number seven, Lucas coming in after a nice stretch of play there from number 14, Johannes. We got a null, null, zero, zero tie here, up here on the upper field. We, it's been a hard fought match. We've had a couple sneaky strikes here lately from, from the Leopards. They had a really sneaky strike here. I used to live in Mozambique, so I have some. Oh yeah, it's it's great. We get a little bit of exchange with our ICEA connections. I, I we had we had a we had a lady here on camera earlier, Sophia, who originally was at AIS Johannesburg, and then Felix just did a guest uh, drop in. He used to be a Mo AIS. Yeah, yeah. So a former AISM Buffalo Felix giving a shout out to his fellow former Buffaloes, but now we claim him as an Eagle. So as long as he's not cheering against the Eagles, we'll let it slide. Great corner there from the Leopards, but wasn't meant to be. And now Matthew, the goalie, will size up a, a kick, see if he can get his Buffalo brethren in position here. Alvino, uh-oh, he, he kicked too soon. We've got some subs coming in for the Leopards. Number 10, Peter, and number seven, Diego. Diego had a nice run. He added some spiciness in the few minutes there early in the second half, I believe. So let's see if he can work his uh, spicy magic again. He comes in for Neil. Neil had a nice stretch there. Good job, Neil. And number 11, I think, coming in for the Buffalo's Allen for Mozambique. Misha in the center field now, sends one all the way up to number seven. Oh, wishing Melvin had been there for a strike. That could have been very dangerous for the Leopards. They've been very disciplined on defense, but that time they, uh, they lost their spots a bit. Matthew. Ready for a goal kick after a spike in the blood pressure there. Sends it past midfield. Melvin was on the back foot a bit, needs to catch that in real time. And now Diego, like I said, with some spiciness on that right-hand side, wins his side at corner. And Comes in, but not strong enough on that corner. Too lazy. Can't have any lazy leopards out here. Matthew reconnects. And a nice send in there by Peter. Taking 
a chance that the Buffaloes might be grazing, but Matthew took it in, a goalie from the other side. Uh-oh, maybe a call for an elbow there on the Buffaloes, some kind of foul, and the Leopards quickly get it back. Matthew, strong center field match, gets it over to their man of the match from last time. Vilmer sending it back to Matthew in the middle. Vilmer on the left side now. Well, sloppy play. Melvin though can't get an advantage here. Sends it to his advancing striker, stampeding. But the guys are unfortunately watching Lucas Moore. It wasn't ready for that quick pass from his fellow Buffalo friend. Matthew in the middle again, trying to get his leopard set up. Diego handling it nicely. Peter wasn't ready. Wasn't quite a good pass enough for him to do something with. Matthew in the middle again with a strike to his counterpart, Matthew, on the Buffaloes, who smothers it and sends it forward with a nice pass. To Lucas. That yeah, was a bit of an angry paw from the leopard there, but some good sportsmanship. Referees remind that we uh, no comments needed from the players. We got it under control. Number 11, Ermias comes back in after a nice round there for number 14, Cameron, for the Leopards. Nice middle pass there, just a little too sharp. Melvin comes back, tries to sneak it away from Matthew there. Pushes, pushes off the ball, Ermias, and a strike! Wow, wow! Fiery play there from Melvin and an on target strike, but Ngozi snatches it out of the air with his leopard paws. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. An own goal. An own goal from Allen. He'll have to shake that off quickly. That is an own goal from Allen. Sadly, strikes it into his Buffalo goal. And now they have seven minutes to see if they can get it back. What a shame for the Buffaloes. And those lucky Leopards get in. That's a goal for the Leopards. We'll get it here. Yeah, now it's registered on our screen. It's now 1-0, AIS Lusaka Leopards to null for the AIS Mozambique Buffaloes. And that's just a shame. But that's the way it goes sometimes. And now the Buffaloes have to expend more energy. I'm sure the Leopards will be playing defense now and Elias will be leading part of that. Just like when they got ahead early 1-0 to the Eagles from ICS last game. Matthew controls it, picks it up, sends it forward with a nice pass. Let's make sure that number seven Lucas can handle it, but no, no luck. And Elias sends it over to Diego with a strike. But a stop, another nice stop there from Matthew from these uh, these laser strikes from the Leopards. Lucas is up in the, oh, sends it forward, but not an accurate enough midfield strike there. Good idea though from Lucas, and Melvin was in position this time, but no luck. We've got another substitution. Number nine, DJ coming in.
Leopards trying to nurse their lead here, sending in another. Cameron in as well at the next stop ball. And there, tried to handle it, was number eight, George. Sends it forward to number nine, the new coming Leopard, DJ. Trying to make something happen down there deep into Buffalo land. And he gets in, sneaks in. What a stop by Matthew. Oh my goodness. That was some excellent leopard offensive play there. Oh my goodness. And go see. I don't know if that was an act or if he just whiffed. Hopefully he's careful over there with those hurdles. And go see. A lot of good athleticism, but I hope he takes it easy. We don't need any injuries from any of our players. And Ngozi sizes it up for the goalie kick. We have a new player in for Mozambique. Number 19, Emmanuel. Trying to make a difference here, add some spark. Bring some pizzazz into his Buffalo side. Vilmer comes up. Another strong match from him. Very strategic play. Was that really off the Buffaloes or is that a goal kick? Up. Oh, are they call they're calling it a corner. Cameron will go over there to take the corner. Buffalo's protesting whether that was really a uh, in line kick off them or not, but no matter. Cameron sends it in, but way too strong. Maybe the ball doesn't lie there, and it was really Buffalo ball. Lucas, I believe, is coming off. And Misha comes back in for the Buffaloes, seeing if they can make something happen. Misha brings it up the sideline, sends it over. Nice footwork there, sends it in, but just a bit too high. What a nice kick there by Sean, sending it just a bit over the AISL goal there. But wow, a little bit of a fright there for Nkosi and his Leopards. Now he'll size up a goal. Two minutes, roughly two minutes now. And we'll see what the match is looking like. Sending it into the middle. Ricochets off to Cameron, maybe. Sending it back for the Leopards. Vilmer getting it out of. Melvin making it hard on him. A lot of uh, strong play there. Vilmer able to keep it under control. He'll pick it up now for Lusaka. Send it into. Buffalo territory. Oh my. Matthews in the middle and a strike. But great defense there by the Buffaloes. I think that was number four with a nice defensive play. Sydney had some nice defensive play today from him. He should be proud. He's represented well. Elias or Hermias is it? Number 20, Elias coming in and across, and that was gorgeous. Gorgeous Leopards teamwork there. Excellent. A strike. The Leopard strike Cameron sending it over. Was it Matthew, number 18? With the goal. And now they take a commanding 2 0 lead with less than a minute left to play. Buffaloes have to try to see if they can at least get on the board here. They seem to have a little momentum going their way before that strike, but uh, now it's a goal kick for the Leopards. And go see. Number 13 coming in now, Callum. Taking over for number nine, DJ. He brought some nice pep and energy to his Leopards. Oh, he's still in. Still in, not sure who Callum's replacing here, but that's okay. 
So, DJ still running strong. Bringing that energy. And now, Matthew needs to send one deep into the land of the leopards, into their lair. But doesn't able to strike it accurately enough. Matthew sends it into the Buffalo's defensive. Callum keeps it under control. Number eight, George controls it. Emmanuel trying to get it there, but not able to. Uh oh. And a strike. But great defense from the Buffaloes, not letting a last minute goal in to increase that lead to three to nothing for the Leopards. Okay, number 14 now. Johannes is coming in. Is that Misha coming off? The Buffaloes. Need a last minute goal here to keep it, keep it competitive. This will probably be the last throw in. Nope, they'll have to throw it in again. The referees weren't quite set. And now a throw in. And the Leopards just trying to control it here until the final whistle. They send it over into the middle. Matthew sends it out. And Nice idea there. Trying to get a surprise strike at the end there by Callum. Just too much power. Matthew needs to send it into. Sydney needs to send it down the field quickly. Matthew needs to get it out of the land of the Buffalo. They're running out of time. Okay, Vanuel tries to send it across. Great idea, but a leopard leg was in the way. And Elias smartly just playing a control game now. George, Matthew's not able to handle that pass, but sends it out, able to capture it. All right, any second now, the last whistle will blow. Matthew comes up with a leopard limp. Oh, he's okay, thankfully. He'll run that off. Alvino with the throw in to number five, Sean. Sean, Alvino. Alvino needs to send it in now quickly. Send it in. Needs to get a good strike there. Sean sends it back to Alvino. Needs to. And Sean comes up. Tries to control it, gets in, but Nkosi says, not in my house. Oh, we have a new goalie for the Leopards. And that's the final whistle. The AIS Lusaka Leopards with a victory. They got a little help from AISM with an own goal, but they also had a beautiful strike of their own to make it two to nothing. Tough loss for the AIS Mozambique Buffaloes. And now Leopards out in front with a commanding win. Two games they've won now. And they're looking good in this first round of matches. Wishing both teams good luck as they continue the competition this weekend. Signing off for a moment from the upper field, AIS Lusaka 2, AIS Mozambique 0. See you later. Yeah, we need you because aren't, uh, yeah, we're gonna is an I, isn't ICS playing now down on the lower field? And if so, ICS boys. Aren't they coming up on the lower field? Because if so, I have a conflict of interest. <laughs> A, because I'm an Eagles fan, and B, because I'm a Johan fan. <laughs> so it's hard for me to call a fair match down there. And I need to eat this plate before it's too cold. Okay, here are these. Please hang on to these rosters. I've been able to get a lot of numbers, but try to collect the numbers of the next team. What I do is I write it to the left, and then it makes it easy to call the game. Is the voice on? It still it needs to be muted. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
How do I mute it? It should just.
sure that the coaches and admin room for adults is for coaches and adults no, only. No, keep this one wide the whole Thank time. Thank you. Thank you. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm
from AISJ's number 10. Nice skills, see nice skills. Nice skills from ISU, number nine. Oh, good shot from number twelve. I'm using your camera. Oh my god. Now we have a penalty for AISJ. Free kick. Kick. Good, Good try. Kick. <laughs> Good try. So we have substitution number for AISJ number 12. I'm not gonna laugh, lucky. Throwing for AISJ. 
now there's a throw in for ISU. What a control. A throw in for AISJ. Oh, what nice skills from AISJ. Oh, what a good goal attempt from number 13, Thabo. It looks like you're joking about that. So we have a goal kick for AISJ. And what an interception for number 12, Sydney. And a clearance for AISJ. Oh. Oh. Good shot. What a close goal. Number eight, Sophia just got substituted in for AISJ. So now we have a free kick for ISU by M Malia. What a shot! What a oh shot! Oh my! <laughs> Now we have a throw in for AISJ. So, so, so close. And they're attempting for a goal and... Watch, watch, watch. Oh! oh. What a good try.
Oh, what a block. <laughs> Oh, no. See, this is entertaining when I do this. <laughs> oh my god, you missed. <laughs> so, number 10 from AIS, AIS J Jasmine, and number 1 from AIS J Abigail is getting subbed out for number 13. Tabo and number six, Selena. Hey! Oh! <laughs> Go! Yeah! Whoa. She just got subbed in and she just scored a goal. Number 13, Tabo. Two, 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 two. <laughs> no. We're not doing that anymore. There you go. Stop. Nice save, man. ISU away for another attempt, but intercepted. And they're going. Oh, what a good charge. Okay. Intercepted by number eight from ISU, Sephora. Sephora's controlling the ball, passing it to number 39, Malia. And blocked by number 14. And another block by number 14 from AISJ. And eventually, Chris out. Oh, <laughs> So now we have a substitution for AISJ. Number 14 just got cut out, Melinda. And number 7 just got subbed in, Night Nali. And another substitution for ISU. Number 12 got for AISJ. Number 12, Sydney, got subbed out for number 4, Abigail. And intercepted by number four, but got right back to ISU. Fatal. And what good defense from AISJ. And that is half time. Score is 1 0 to AISJ.
and the second half has begun. <laughs> you missed the funniest <laughs> moment of the old. That's a goal. What a good attempt from Baikal. Number nine from IST, uh, ISU. Goal kick from I AISD. Um, ISD. Good header, good header. Good header. From number 39 in ISU. Malia. How many viewers do we have right now? 80? 84. And we have a throw in for AISJ. Right now. AISJ going for an attack. And what an attempt. Wow, wow, By wow. number seven. And Beautiful AISJ. Shot, man. Beautiful. Beautiful shot. Oh. Nice. Nice. Get up, boy. My shot is too good. I'm too good. Oh, what a shot from number 39 and from AIS. From AI. From ISU. <laughs> oh. And now we have a corner. A Never mind, we have a goal kick for AISJ. Close looking, majestic man. <laughs> what a good interception from ISU and what, what a, a shot! shot. What a wow, save man. from number zero. And going for the attack from AISJ, hey. and what a save! Oh. What a save from number zero from ISU Isabella. Yo, when, I'm Yo, when I'm locked in, you don't need the ball.
We have a goal kick for ISU right now, guys. Oh, what an attempt for so attack in, for ISU. Oh, number eight steals the ball from ISU. Sephora. And another steal from Sephora. Going for the attack, but intercepted by AISJ number nine, Alexa. Next year. Yeah, he's gonna kick the shit out of me. Yeah, he to go. And we have a substitution for AISJ, number four for number 12, and number seven for number 14. Huh? Yeah, I said that. And we have a substitution for ISU number 13 for number 12. We have Arini for Amanda. Great hustle from number 8 from ISU. And great defense from AISJ. Oh, what a clearance. And they're going for beautiful, an attack. Beautiful. Watch, 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 watch. What a beautiful, what a beautiful wow. shot. Yeah. But it just couldn't go in yeah, from. How much time you have What? Yo, you just turn it just off right now. Just look it. <laughs> and we have a throw in for AISJ right now, guys. But <laughs> she threw it back out. <laughs> And another throw in for AISJ, but was blocked in. Another throw in for AISJ. <laughs> Hit out again from number nine from ISU. The second time, Bethan. Another throw in. And it was what a nice header from ISU. Oh, what a good interception, but just couldn't go through. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh. 
and ISU going for the attack and just couldn't get in. Oh, what a save. We have a goal kick for AISD. We just keep it aside. A good steal. Oh, never mind. Intercepted by ISU, but taken back from AISD. And intercepted by ISU, but just couldn't get there. And she's going for an attack, but Come on, it just it was oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh. And we have a substitution for AISJ. We got number 19 subbed out for number 6. And we have a corner for ISU and shot, but just couldn't make it in. When you're at the coach, it's good luck, guys. <laughs> and oh, what an attempt wow. for AISJ! But what an amazing save from the ISU goalie. And we have a throw in for AISJ. <laughs> So we have a sub for AISJ, number 13 for number one. So that is Thabo subbed out for Abigail. And what a, what a, oh! Wow, man. I remember looking. And we have a throw in for ASA uh, from number 12. Go we'll check number 16's name. Come on, man. Oh, what a nice clearance from AISJ. Going for the attack. Going, going, going. Oh, but intercepted by number 44. That's you. Oh, oh. That's you. Take a shot. Oh, but blocked. Deflected by the defender. And now, and another interception for ISU, and a messed up pass. On number four and number seven. Bro, why is there so much substitutions? I'm not gonna get suspended for ten days. <laughs>
And we have substitution for ISU, number 11. No, number 9 and number 21 is subbed out for number 11 and number 15. And we have another substitution for AISJ. Number 12 is subbed out for number 4 and number 7 is subbed in for, no for number 8. So now we have, have a throw-in for ISU. Have you seen this go 45? But cleared beautifully by number 14. What an interception. Good defense from ISU. ISU going for the attack, but deflected by AISJ. <laughs> and we have a substitution for AISJ number 9. It's something sub for number 10. Stop laughing. Oh, oh, going for the attack, ISU, but Mano, a handball from AISJ. Is it a penalty or is it a free kick? So we have a free kick for ISU because of a mano, uh, a handball from AISB. No, the coffee is actually the first coffee I have. Number 15. And the free kick, free kick is taken by number 15. And what a good save from AISJ. So we have a substitution for AISJ, number eight. Number eight, Sophia is going to be subbed in. And number 14 is subbed out, Mal Milda. See, when you call too much, you get some. Oh, what good. Shut up, <laughs> This is a beautiful game that we have. Uh, uh. <laughs> and a throw over Ash. Oh, but. You said Laura or Emil? Laura or Emil? And she got a. And a but it got deflected by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Shoot. Oh, what a deflection. Arab. Keep on That's you, that's you. Oh. It'll keep it on me the whole time. You're good. Yeah. So that is the end of the game for AISJ versus ISU girls. And AISJ takes the win 1 0. What a, what a beautiful game. Such a beautiful game. Beautiful, man. Baby, I tell you. Yeah. Wow. Golly.
And what a header from HIS. Is it baby? Jason, number and 13. What a header from HIS. Is it baby? Jason, number 13. What a header from HIS. Number, number four. What oh, a, a goal! Shot from, from H I S. Number, number four. <laughs> I'm not meaning it. I'm sorry. And we're starting off in the middle. We're A I S. I S U and a kick to number seven to number thirty. What a weak pass, but still not intercepted by H I S. <laughs> and oh, that could have definitely went in. <laughs> but what a good save from H I S. Jason going in, passes over to number four, and kicked out by number 30 of ISU. So we have substitution for HIS, number six and number two are going in for number 12 and number 17. Oh, we got a corner, but what a good save from the HIS goalie. I mean the ISU goalie. Oh gosh. And we have a goal kick for HIS right now. And pass the ball. And nice. Oh, intercepted by number seven from ISU. And what a shot, but just too far off to the. Is that your left or the right? To the left. No, never mind the right. Sorry. All right. We have a goal kick for HIS, but it's om om almost intercepted by ISU. What good defense from. Was that deep? Never mind. <laughs> We got HIS taking up the ball. A good pass. And a, and a kick. What's that so? And an attempt of a goal. ISU has the ball. To HIS. A shot, but what a save from the Earth has gone. And we have a corner, a corner for HIS.
So, a kick, a shot, and a miss, and a deflection. And, uh, We have a corner for HIS, kicked, and an unsuccessful header for HIS. So we have a goal, goal kick for on the and an interception and a pass and a clearance and a pass going for the attack, but good defense on the HIS. Wow, what a nice shoot! Oh, through the legs, but he skied it. A good performance, but he's guided. Pass in for HIS. A pass for HIS. And a deflection or a block by number seven on ISU. Number six was the ball on HIS. Number six, number six, number six. Uh, and he misses. Number, number seven. Number seven. Uh, and it just. Uh, 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 ISU. Oh. Some of them are in seventh grade. Sound good. Eighth grade. And some have seventh grade. Sound good. It's so nice. HIS. And a deflection from HIS. Or a block from HIS for. HIS HIS Number five What a good defense And what a what a bad pass from from the from HIS But it's okay IS use the ball for the attack HIS, number two, two, number 13 for the attempt, but no goal. We have a substitution on HIS. Number 12 coming for number 13. I shoot for the ball. Passes it down. 
passes to number three. Oh, what a good defense from number four on HIS. ISU, good attack, but interception, and a going for the attack again, but good defense on the HIS side, and yeah, wasn't successful for the ISU boys team, and is now a pro in for ISU actually, so let's see if we can get back yeah I see you with the ball and shoots and he skies and now we have a goal kick for HIS and a nice control and he kicks it out number seven from ISU And half time on this court. The score is still nil nil for HIS and ISU boys.
Yeah. And we are starting the second half with a banger. God damn. Why did I say that? <laughs> a good control, but passed it straight back and to we H I S. Are starting the second half with a banger. God damn. Why did I say that? Good control, oh my gosh. It back to I'm so embarrassing, bro. <sighs> and now we have IS Huba intercepted by HIS going for the attack. He passes. He passes and he tries to. But then he blocks out good defense on the ISU side. And we're going down, taking the ball down. And passing it to number 10. Going for the attack, but blocked. Like, blocked by number 6. And pass and for the attack, and then again blocked by number two. Defense is very strong on the HIS side. And we have a corner. We have a corner for ISU. Back here. And he, and he heads it completely the different direction that he wants it to go so now we have HIS with the ball and it intercepted by number 18 on ISU and kicked out by number 3 <laughs> and Um, and now we have HIS with the ball, passing it around, trying to find space to attack. And it was blocked by ISU, and ISU trying to keep the ball in. Now they have a substitution, HIS has a substitution. Um, number 13, Meyer, going in for number 6. Yeah, number 6. ISU throws the ball in. <laughs> what? Oh, we have another substitution for ISU. Number 18 going out and number 4 coming in. And what a block from ISU number 3. And he rolls over. And it's a free kick for ISU, I think. Yes. And their captain is actually taking the free kick, so... Let's try, let's try to make him score. And what a shot! Shot, he was so, so close. But it's just off by a little bit to the right. To the left. To the, to the, to the left. And straight, kicked straight to the ISU goalie. And a nice touch from ISU. And trying to go in, and what a goal! They did not see that coming at all. They did not see that coming at all. What a goal for ISU. Guys, how do I change the score?
and he has the ball. HIS intercepted by ISU, but then taken back by HIS, trying to come back from the goal that they just missed. And he goes for the shot and deflected by ISU number seven. So now we have a corner for um, HIS and let's see if they can make a comeback for what they've lost. And defense is so good, but HIS is calling for a mano. HIS is calling for a mano. <laughs> HIS trying to take back. <laughs> HIS trying to take back the ball, but the defense is so so strong on the ISU side. ISU taking down the ball for another attack. Will they make it? And deflected. Blocked and intercepted by number four of HIS. HIS trying to make a comeback, trying to return, but intercepted by number three from ISU. But taken by number 23 from HIS to number 12 to number 10 for the attack. He shoot. He doesn't shoot. He skies. He skies. Where's the ball? Oh, he skied it so far. Do you think it even went out of campus, bro? And he's broken. Did we have a sub? Yes, number 12 was subbed up for someone. Was number 10 in there? So we have a throw in for HIS. And throw it in. And HIS trying to get an attack, but the defense is so, so strong. And what a bad. And attempted pass, but intercepted by number 30. And ISU just took back the ball and trying to go for an attack. Passes it to number four. Passes it to number 10. And he shoots, and what a save from number 18 from HIS. And now HIS has, um, ISU has a corner. A corner. Passed it in, and a weak pass to the center. Eight. Beautiful. And he oh, just off, get it out. Come on. Come on, man. Your tennis shoe, like, I'm mistaken. Oh You've got five minutes. Come on. Tennis. That's kind of awkward, guys. It's off. Tennis. It's off. Oh, no. You're always and it's, he shoots both. He's so beautifully oh, blocked the ball by right now. The defense is very well. And HIS has the ball. Wow. He's trying to look for a pass. He passes it to the defender. They're Pardon pushing it forward. Two. Trying to trying play to an offensive play. Let me do the top. And he then the he skies and the he, ball. Yeah. Unfortunately. They're trying to sub right now. Number 11. You have to go. Hey, do, you want, do you want to go? Ask your sister. <laughs> number for ISU number 14 is subbed out for number 17 and number 11 was also subbed in and he is doing pretty well as he just got subbed in
we have a we had a throw in for HIS and the defense is so strong on the ISU side, like not letting um, HIS even get a chance to, you know, come back from the point and trying to. And now HIS has a. Uh, And we have a free kick and skies the ball. <laughs> and ISU has the ball. Taking it up and kicking it. Passing it to number four, but just a little bit too long for number four to catch for a potential offensive attack. HIS kicks the ball across to the other side of the field straight to their player and he shoots but it's blocked by number seven. What a block. Beautiful, beautiful from defense from ISU doing so, so good and passes it to number 13 trying to Trying to make a play, trying to make another another point to even out the score or even possibly get a higher score. And passes it to number 13. Number 13 passes it up. To number 13 again. And number 13 just passes it to nobody. Straight to the ISU player. Oh, and they're both asking for a free kick, for a foul. But obviously, those are not fouls, so. But ISU gets the free kick. What? So we have the captain number seven. Taking the free kick. Will he make it in? And oh! That really could have been a goal for ISU. So close. It's just to have a little bit more control on the ball. <laughs> what am I doing? And whoa! That is a foul. That is definitely a foul for HIS. That's definitely a foul. He looked weird. So we have a we got a free kick for HIS and number 13 is going to be taking that free kick. Well, and that's Jason. Jason is taking Jason Mayu. Taking the the free kick. Let's see what impact we can make on the game. From this, can you pull this one? Oh, okay. Is it replaying? No. Oh, it is. Uh, you're the one commenting. Right? Yeah. The what? No, it's just. It's not muted. I know. It's not. But I don't know. So. Is what? Yeah. What uh, Mr. James is commentating is showing on this. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, but there's no way. Okay. Uh, so, did they take the free kick? They took the free kick? They took the free kick? Yeah. Mm. Free kick made no impact on the game. And we're at the five minute mark and hoping HI ties up the game or ISU just takes the win.
and number 13 going down in with the ball and passes it to nobody. And HIS takes the ball again, passing it again to number 14. But it's having a little hard time with. <laughs> and we have a throw in for the ISU. And intercepted by HIS. And HIS has position again, but what a look straight up to the tent of our viewers, of our, of our, of our, of, of the fans. And we have a throw in for ISU. And a pretty good control from number 10. And number 14 trying to get past through the defense. And cuts through the defense, but blocked by number 10. And HIS gains possession again. Trying very hard to make a difference in the game, but the defense on the ISU side is just. Uh, very high and very good. And we have a throw in for HIS, but headed out by number three from ISU. But HIS gains position again, but skies it. Yes, again, skies the ball. Passes it. Go kick her. Heads it. And fighting for the ball, but HIS gets the ball and passes it yet again to nobody and straight to the ISU. And kicks, shoots it completely skies. Oh, a nice block. And a head from HIS, but he heads it. Oh, never mind. He kicks it back in to number 12. And shoots! And he's just a little bit far from the left side. So, so close. Good attempt from number 20, 23 from HIS. We have a goal kick and ISU takes the ball and he just deflected it back out where you could really could have just and he and they're trying to get attempt of the to to score but a nice deflection and another deflection from number two what amazing defender glazing like crazy and number 12 and a nice tackle from number three <laughs> But I'm zoom on you left. Wait a is trying to go for the attack yet again. And he falls when he fumbles it yet again. We got a throw in for HIS. Number 12 gets the ball. And number 10 goes for the ball and crosses it in, but just couldn't get it into the goal. And another attempt for HIS, but straight to the back to the ISU ISU but misses and goes straight to the side
What sub? 30 or 30 oh, we have a substitution for ISU. Number 30 comes in for number 10. And that is game. One nil to ISU with great defense from the ISU side and good attempts from the HIS side, but HIS just couldn't even out the score. And yeah, that's it. A good game. Where's the...
The second half is about to start. The score is still 0 0. Second half has officially started, guys. Sophia, Sophia. Jay has the ball number nine. She's going for an attack, but the defense is good on the AISL side. She's gonna begin her bit. That's how you do it, Sophia. So we have a throw in for AISJ and number eight, Sophia, just threw in the ball. And she kicks it straight back. And. 
What a beautiful goal from AISJ. Another beautiful attempt from AISJ. They are really coming in strong to get that second point. AISO is working very hard to even out the score. That is insane. <laughs> what a crazy trickster from an AISD wow. girl. What an amazing game versus the AISJ girls and AISL girls winning 1-0 for AISJ. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.